Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this is episode 11 of the Faster XP 2012 series. And in this video series, we're going to supercharge your Windows XP machine, and it's going to be a lot of fun while we do it. So stay tuned every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern so that you are making sure you're keeping up with it. So let's go ahead and move on to the actual point of the video, which is to make sure that we uninstall all your unused Windows XP programs. I am amazed at how many people forget to do this. Imagine, imagine having like a room, right? Like a bedroom, which some of you might have, some of you might not, and never, ever, ever cleaning it. That's kind of what happens with Windows XP applications. Or, or even worse than that, imagine having a desk that you work at every single day, and then like you you got something one month and you're like, okay, I'm going to set this over here because I might use it later. Then you're going to set it over here because you might use it later. You're going to set it over here and you might use it later. And then eventually you've used up every single surface area inch of your desk and it's piled up to like 1,000 feet. And then eventually it's just so cluttered you can't even, you know, can't get any work done, right? Because it's slower to work around a lot of junk. That's kind of what the philosophy of removing unused programs is. It's going to create one of two optimizations. First, it's going to clean up your desktop. Okay, so you have less programs to filter through. So there's the actual physical, your brain can process information, faster benefit of it. Plus it's going to remove all the junk files, programs, startup items, all the registry entries, all the stuff that comes with every program that you install and have installed over the past years. Now, another thing that this is a benefit of, actually there's three I like, is it removes the bloatware. When you buy a brand new laptop or a brand new desktop, you know what happens? They come packaged with all of this junk in it. And we're talking junk. We're talking stuff that's literally designed to slow down your system and then like make you pay to make it faster. So don't worry, I'm gonna guide you through how to do this. And it's it's kind of a two-step process. You know, there's stuff that you know you don't use anymore, and then there's stuff that you're not sure about, and that's kind of what we're gonna to touch on here. So let's go ahead and get started instead of talking about it. Go ahead and click the start menu button and select control panel. And uh, if you have this nice little screen here, they have this nice little add or remove programs option. Go ahead and select that. And it's going to populate your system with a list of programs. As you can see, I don't have like any install on this, I'm proud to say. And uh, But you might have like 100,000 of them. You know what I mean? Now, on the right-hand side, you have this nice little feature that says used rarely. Used rarely. Used rarely. Used rarely. I wouldn't rely on that completely because sometimes you don't use a program that often, but you still need it or you still want it. So, I mean, that's a good way to gauge whether you've used it in a while, but you still want to think about what you're on installing. Make sure that it's something you know you don't need anymore. And if you do uninstall it, you still have the installation disks or you still have the wherewithal to know where you can find it if you do need it in the future. Now, for programs you're not sure of, that's when it gets a little more complicated, but not quite that complicated. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer here. Don't yell at me. Don't worry. We're going to talk about increasing browser speeds here in the future. Internet Explorer is just a temporary until we get further in the series. And we're going to go to Google because us nerds, we love Google. It's our secret weapon, okay? The not-so-secret secret weapon. Okay, and what we're going to do is let's say I bring up a program here, and I can go to Glary Utilities, okay? I'm going to type in, should I uninstall Glary Utilities? We're going to see what search result we get. Glary Utilities. Okay, well, you might not get a whole lot of information on what exactly, uh, whether or not you should or whether it's harmful or something. Sometimes you will, but you can at least see what it is that program does. So I'm going to open up Glary Utilities, okay? And I'll Glary Utilities, 100% freeware. Glary Utilities, number one free, powerful, all-in-one utility. The world of the market offers numerous powerful and easy-to-use system tools and utilities to fix. Okay, well, you know what? That seems like a legitimate piece of software that I installed at some point in time. And then I can even open it up. I can click the Start menu, Start button. I'll go to Glary Utilities, open it up, take a look at it. I mean, we're evaluating the benefit. This might take you a while, but you don't want to remove something you don't want or need. And uh, a lot of times with bloatware... It's going to be, when you, when you Google it, it's going to be obvious. People are like, you don't need this. This is junk. This is absolute junk. And then you can just uninstall it. So once you've established whether you should uninstall it or not, then that, the whole rest of the process is easy. The hard part is deciding whether or not. You just click remove. And then it's going to open up the uninstaller. It's going to walk through the uninstallation. And then you're done. That's it. That's how it works. 
So that's all there is to this video. Uh, like I said, the, the part with uninstalling is it's not just going to improve your system speed on as far as load times and disk access. It's going to improve your actual psychological speed. Like we human beings can only process information at, there's a psychological aspect to computing. We can only process information in so many ways, all right? So you want to clean your desktop. You want to do, you want to make sure you clean out your, your unused programs, which will clean out your start menu. And you're going to be able to use your computer a lot easier, just like when you have a clean desk. Make sense? So that's all there is to this video in the Faster XP 2012 series, which again debuts every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Don't forget you can become a PCM Techie at the PCM Tech Help community. It's at my website, PCMTechHelp.com. And you can also follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow our Facebook page, subscribe on YouTube. I'm going to get this down eventually. Uh, invest on Empire Avenue. Circle me on Google+. Plus. <sighs> gotta be like 90 more oh clout me on clout ha i remember that one uh that's all there's this video thanks for stopping by have a good day